6.30 in the morning. We stayed here, we camped near the little laurel shelter. And this is it. It came up a little bit of a light thunderstorm about 5.15, we heard it thundering. And then we, we got up and got our tent taken down and everything packed up before it started raining. Got in the shelter, it's light rain, seems to be passing. But we're off. Uh, this was our camp spot. This is where our tent was right here. So we had a good night's sleep. And uh, we're heading up the trail. All right, we'll check in later. Climbing. Yep, it's about nine o'clock. We've gone uh, three, three and some odd miles, I imagine. I'm gonna let you get a view of Debbie going up this next little piece with these rocks, so you can see what we're dealing with. It's hard to keep pace on this kind of stuff. So she's gonna show you the trickle up, trickle up the mountain method. Aren't you? Yeah. Trickle up the mountain. Yeah, it's uh, we. It didn't rain much at all, uh, but uh, it's pretty pretty damp out here. Some standing water on the trail here and there. It's been kind of a, a lot of uphill this morning, and rugged. Rugged walking, so. All right, I gotta put the, the camera away here in a sec. So that's what it's looking like. Talk to y'all later. Yep, the trail keeps being a rock hopping fun time so it's hard to go fast in this it's muddy in places and uh rocky and all the others so good news is the rocks aren't real slippery so far anyway There was a, a cliff overlooked just a little ways behind us now that uh, this closed. It's just an overlook, just a little side side trail over to the cliff from the AT, but it's closed right now because the peregrine falcons are breeding, so, nesting. So, it's supposed to be another one up here that another overlook this uh, cliff black stock cliff I think that is open so maybe we'll see a view there but this is what the trail's looking like in here this morning good thing we got an early start because we'd like to do 14 miles today Pretty neat little rock ledge here with rhododendron growing on it. Sun's trying to peek out. Probably, if it gets too bright out here, it's gonna jack this humidity up though. So, might be better if it stayed cloudy. Of 
All right, guys, that's what it's looking like. So we'll check in later. Here comes Trickle. Watch out. There she is. Trickling down now. Yep. Just taking it slow. All right. Don't want to get hurt. No. Okay, so we came to this um, place where to the right is the exposed ridge line trail and to the left is a bad weather trail it's a blue blaze so bluebird and i are going to take the bad weather trail brent and john just took off on the other one so we're going to meet where they intersect so we'll see all right so we're uh Climb it up. I don't know what this is called. Do you, John? No, anyway, it's a uh, place that they give you a bad weather bypass to go around if it's going to be um, raining or or if you just don't want to do it, you can go around. So, Trickle and Bluebird decided to bypass down below us. John and I decided to go for it. So we're up here. It's called Big Fire Scald Knob. This is Big Fire Scald Knob, okay. So, anyway, it is a magnificent view. We're at about 4,500 feet. And uh, I think we're looking into Tennessee on one side. And we're swinging around, probably looking into North Carolina here, back in this way. But I mean, you, the camera's not doing it justice, folks. You just can't imagine what it looks like with your full peripheral vision. And we can see with the naked eye, like far back layers of mountains sitting back. So anyway, we'll see if we can get through here without getting killed or caught. So we're off like a herd of turtles. Okay, it's noon and we've seven miles into our trip for the day, our hike. We're at the Jerry's Cabin Shelter. We're coming up to it right here around this tree line. And then uh, we're gonna take a little break here and uh, we'll hit the, hit the trail after we take a little break. So we're gonna hang here for a minute. Talk to you later. All right, it's about 12.30. We're just leaving the Jerry Jerry's Cabin shelter. Um, stop there. There are a bunch of hikers here taking a lunch break. Oh, there it is up there. Folks eating. And so we're heading down. Uh, we got about seven miles to go to the shelter we're headed to for the evening. Um, I've heard it's fairly easy hike, not too bad. But, um, this shelter's got a lot of nice tent spot spots around it. It's got a bear box. The one we're going to's got a bear box also. So makes it nice. Don't have to worry about hanging your food. So yeah, we'll. See you down the trail. So it came out of the woods and popped out on this meadow and Looks like it goes on for a ways. Nice day to be doing this. It's overcast. There's a slight breeze. So, 
pretty walking through this mountain meadow. rock formation here. I've seen it in videos of the trail. If any of you have ever watched Outlander, every time I see a picture of it, I just, for some reason, this rock makes me think of that. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, this is what we're kind of slogging through, trying to dodge mud. So it's kind of slow. It's a great day. Going up big butt. It's pretty much a rock. Boulder scramble. But it's kind of steps, so it's not so much scramble. I'll show you. We came up from there. Adult Jungle Gym. set up went and just just went down and got water out of the string spring really there's the tent right there haven't put the fly on yet oh my goodness and the shelter's right over there so yep getting ready to cook dinner and then get some rest today was hard day for both of us so we're ready to just miles. unwind 14 miles and the first part of it was very much straight uphill so for the first what three four miles so yeah we're looking forward to a good night's rest so we will see you in the morning <laughs>